morning happy sunday oh my gosh it's seven o'clock in the morning we've been up for like an hour but just like doing the whole social social media checking instagram all that kind of fun stuff in bed um and i'm gonna grab some coffee um my house is clean i um yeah i did the things i need to do so i can relax to die so this morning, I'm gonna have my first peppermint mocha of the season. So I picked up at Target the other day, it's really big, these um, Starbucks K-Cups. I picked up these Starbucks K-Cups Peppermint Mocha and I thought I'd try it out. No, I do not like foo-foo drinks. I don't order frappuccinos, I don't order lattes, I just like my coffee black. But I do love me a peppermint mocha during the holiday season. No, I'm not gonna lie. Starbucks peppermint mochas are not my favorite. I prefer Pete's because they're less sweet than the Starbucks ones. But when I saw these, I thought, hey, let's try it. So I'd never made one of these before, so let's see. And I've never had a peppermint mocha for like my wake up coffee. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it for wake up coffee uh, or this is gonna be more like a mid morning kind of coffee pick me up. So we'll see. Um. What I like is it comes in two pods. So here is the peppermint mocha and here is the actual um, coffee. So it says to pour this peppermint mocha powder stuff into the cup. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put my coffee in first because the great thing about this is like you can um, actually um, what am I trying to say? You can actually control how much of the peppermint mocha stuff you put in. So I'm excited for that because then I can make it not nearly as sweet and kind of alter it. So um, I'm going to do the coffee first. And I guess you could like save those packets and use them with like espresso, like another kind of coffee. Go over fill the cured. What if? Okay, so we're gonna get that coffee going. Okay, so while that gets going, you guys, I'm so happy. This is like the first time I feel like in a week where I'm looking outside and it's actually not sunny. I think we're gonna have like 60 degree weather here in Southern California and nothing makes me happier. So I even like got, I'll show you guys my pajamas. These jammies are so comfy. I got them at Target. They're on sale. They're so soft and it's just been like way too warm to wear them. I love that this shirt's like flowy and comfy and yeah, so I, it's like literally the first thing I put on today. I thought, yay, it's finally time. I can just like see myself wearing these all winter long. So this morning I'm going to just enjoy my coffee. I'm gonna probably watch a little TV, hang out, and then um yeah, I have things I have to meal prep, which I'll take you along with so you can kind of see what I do to prepare for the week. And I do want to clean out my makeup stuff. I bought some organizational stuff this weekend to kind of help with that. So um, hopefully I'll tackle that today, but really just kind of getting ready for the week. So let's see where that coffee's at. I'm going to add, okay, so I'm extra. And I have two coffee machines. I have my Keurig and my Nespresso. I love my Nespresso. Best thing ever. But this is kind of nice too to have. I'm gonna add, this coffee is looking, I don't know, a little weak. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in 
an espresso pot. And I love having the option of these two coffees. Just to make this a little stronger, I'm gonna do an espresso shot. How cute is my cup, you guys? I'm obsessed with Dawson, but even more right now because, you know. it over pour this pack it in sweet and dairy blend it says to add it before you brew you know okay so let's see that is a whole lot of I'm not sure about that, guys. It's so kind of nasty. It's getting better. I'm putting like this whole thing in. Yeah, you almost have to like put the entire thing in or else it tastes like cockapoo. So not bad. There. Kind of got there we go. There's the gist. Um I think adding that extra shot for me was really helpful. This is actually tasting pretty good. But my final thoughts are just go and get one. This is definitely probably my Sunday morning treat. I wouldn't have this every morning for sure. Um, but again, if you like peppermint mochas, you guys go to Pete's. I love Starbucks. I love their Americanos. I really think I drink there and their iced teas are just my fave I love the black and the green iced tea but peppermint mochas Pete's is where it's at so try them out if you go and try it leave a comment down below and tell me how you like it it's like the best drink of the season so I'm gonna enjoy this mediocre peppermint mocha not awful not great but it's getting me in the holiday spirit. I'm gonna watch a few YouTube videos, hang out for a little while, and then probably soon start cooking for the weekend. I like to do it over the entire day. Some of you may like not like that, but I prefer to do a few things here and there and then kind of put it all together. Um, it just makes it feel not so rushed. So I'm gonna enjoy this cup of coffee and I'll see you soon. Okay, kind of a weird camera angle. But we're ready for meal prep first portion of the meal prepping like system for this. so quinoa this is from Costco I don't even know how long I've had this this lasts a really really long time and the best thing about it is that you don't have to rinse it so it makes it really really easy so it's always um, double what you have as far as quinoa so there's one cup of quinoa to two cups of flour I think I'll two cups of water
two cups of water. And what I do to add a little bit more flavor to my quinoa is I use um, chicken stock broth, whatever. And this is from Trader Joe's. I love this stuff. It's the Save Your Broth Chicken Flavor Reduced Sodium Liquid Concentrate. And it's just nice to have on hand. And um, it's one pouch to one cup of water. So basically, for one cup of water, you use one packet. I don't use that for this. I just use one packet of a liquid concentrate. I love that it's low sodium, and it just gives that quinoa a little bit of extra flavor. You can use veggie broth, you can use beef broth, whatever you want, but I prefer chicken. So I'm pour that in. Bring that to a boil. And that's it. So basically, I try and keep everything as simple as possible, um, so it's not these elaborate cooking sessions. I mean, I don't think that I could food prep if... I don't think I could food prep if I had to do these elaborate recipes. I try and keep it really simple. I try and eat healthy throughout the week. Um, so yeah, those are just kind of some of the things. And, you know, I can't take credit for like all of these recipes because there is an awesome YouTuber, Cecil Jane. I will link her um, YouTube channel down below. She does a lot of meal planning for weight loss and her recipes are simple they're very much like a meal planning kind of recipe like where she'll say like cook all these vegetables and then you have them for the week or cook up some quinoa and you can use it throughout the week and so she does really really awesome um recipes for weight loss and for meal prepping so i highly recommend it and this actually came from her so a lot of the stuff that i'm doing comes from her so i can't really take full credit i adapt things as i like them um but i'm gonna try her quinoa salad that she makes it's only a few ingredients and it looks super easy and looks very filling um i roast veggies but she did a really yummy um combination that i'm gonna do um she used salmon i used chicken um but whatever so I take kind of her gist of like oh that's a good idea and then kind of adapt it to things that I like so um yeah again I highly recommend if you're at a loss for um cooking or meal prepping or planning like check out her channel so if you're trying to like lose weight too um which I currently am going to try and lose some weight and start getting back into shape I don't know in all honesty I think over the last like month or two I've gained some weight which is like it's not like the best feeling um it's just kind of been one of those like few months where i've not been working out i've been not eating as healthy and i really need to work out and eat healthy because i feel better when all of that stuff is in place so let's keep each other accountable with this vlogmas like i'm gonna try and get back to my workout schedule which is pretty much working out monday tuesday thursday sometimes saturday wednesday um, and I'm going to try and change it up um, now that the weather is a little bit cooler hopefully this week. I love um, taking walks or running and so hopefully kind of get that back into rotation. Um, okay, so I see that my quinoa is, I don't see it, I actually hear it. It's, I'm so going to go ahead and stir that up. Take it down to a simmer. Cover that. And hopefully that won't burn. Because again, I should put a timer on, but I don't because that's the way I roll. So I'm gonna continue hanging out, letting that cook. And then yeah. That's kind of like lunch is almost done. So um, what's nice about the quinoa is before you pack it up, I like it to be cool. So this will allow um, um, it to cool a little bit before I pack it up. Okay, so quinoa is done. I'm going to turn it off. And um, kind of how I check for doneness is um, I kind of just pull it to the side and all the liquid is absorbed. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cap back on, take it off the heat, and then just let it cool. And I don't have to think about that at this point. So, that's done. Okay, so I just got into full-on organizing mode. This is the current state. 
So I'm just trying to reorganize where I'm putting gifts. I've got some wrapping paper. I've got all of this like gift giving stuff that I need to find a home for. So I'm, <laughs> I do this weird thing is like, I really love to wrap. And so a lot of the gifts that are here are um, things that my mom purchased for family members or, you know, things that we have because I enjoy wrapping and she doesn't love it. So I don't mind it, but I have this weird thing about not wrapping until the tree is up. I don't know, it feels more productive, like wrap and put it under the tree or else I have all these like wrap gifts just hanging out everywhere. But I also can't have these bags like everywhere. So I stuff them in my closet <laughs> until I'm ready to wrap. But there's some stuff that I actually need to take to my mom's house for the garage, like the fan. I don't think I'm going to need that. There was a heat wave again. So I like was so thankful I had the fan, but I kind of think that we're maybe hopefully done with heat waves and I can take the fan and store it till spring. Um, I have, I got a new desk. I don't know if you guys have seen it. So I got... Um, this new desk. So I got this new desk, which is working out really, really well. Um, look how beautiful these flowers are. My best friend Lindsay sent these to me after Calvin passed away. And they're just gorgeous, you guys. Like, they're so beautiful. Succulents and their shells. And oh my gosh. Best friends are the best. Really thinking about you. Um... This is where I'm going to try and do a lot of filming. Um, but I have this old chair that I need to get rid of. So basically, I'm trying to repackage these things into... I'm not even going to show you that closet. But I don't have my wrapping paper out yet. Um, my Christmas wrapping paper container, it's in storage. So I'm going to put these probably with my um, everyday gift wrap. But look how cute these are, you guys. When I'm obsessed with dachshunds, of course, if you haven't known... You do now. So basically, how cute is that? I got this at Marshalls for $2.99. Um, I thought this was really cute. This is from Target. This is also from Marshalls. Their wrapping paper is such a good price, $2.99. And then I couldn't pass this one up that I got at Target. How cute is that? I also picked up gift tags. I picked up Santa ones, cute reindeer ones. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. And then this cute little pack. They've got a little baby ducks in. Hence those cute ones. I picked up these, I think, from Hobby Lobby. There's three for any kind of gift cards. How pretty is this ribbon that I got at, I think, TJ Maxx. I don't know what I have. And I just also picked up these boxes. They were 50% off when I went to Hobby Lobby. And I use these all the time. So... I actually have no I cannot remember what I have from last year as far as gift wrapping goes but I just really couldn't pass this up but I pretty much know that I don't need any more I did remember going to paper stores after the holidays and picking up some really pretty papers so I could have like an abundance of paper this year that's the only thing about having like your wrapping paper like in storage so I'm gonna reconfigure all of this stuff so that I can um, kind of put it away. And again, I'm on the cleaning train. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away, get it organized, and then, yeah. Okay, everyone, welcome to my bathroom. And so one of the things that I wanted to do, uh, have been wanting to say, uh, that I have been wanting to do the last few weeks is get this organized. Um, it's an ongoing process. I just kind of feel like I keep getting more stuff and then there's no places to put it and then it's just been not great. So I've purchased a few things here to kind of maybe help with some organization hoping that I can find a better system. This is always a work in progress. This is the only storage I have. So I'm very limited in storage in my place. Um, but for a studio, I actually have a, quite a bit. Um, so I know it's limited in the fact that like you don't have another place that I can go and put things. Um, but it's a lot of storage for a place that's so small. So this is what we're the current state of my bathroom. Okay, so here we have um, all the stuff from my FabFitFun box, which needs a place 
a home. This is where I keep my perfumes. This is just a drawer that I, I've got to figure out what I need a more methodical way to put things. Lipsticks, jewelry. Look, this is a current state of my makeup drawer. Oh, you guys. It was organized, I swear. Um, this is the current state of my kind of beauty area, which is looking okay, but I always could use a little help. Okay, this is my hair carrier, which is looking pretty good. I just organized this the other week, and in the back is just storage of some other stuff that I keep in there. And then this is the current state of my towels. It's looking a little messy, but, um, and this. So I, it looks messy, but that's as organized as I can get for what it holds. And then, you guys, oy vey. Oh, this is just like, uh, nightmarish. So we're going to tackle this. So I did purchase, um, another one of these, which I noticed is missing a handle but right there but I'm not going to go back to Target and get a new one just because of this I'm not that big of a and then some more organizational things in drawer inserts because and I've got to find a home for those um, the organizational state of this is just like things are everywhere how it gets like this I'm not exactly sure you guys but this is so embarrassing so, so I thought I'd take you along on my organizational stuff and see how everything kind of plans out the sheet mask collection you guys here's some and here's more and here's more. Here's more. And you know that's not even the end, you guys. This is like shit mask craziness. Lord love a duck. In another video, if you see me buy sheet masks, please get mad at me. Because ain't no one need this many sheet masks. Lord help me. Okay, so basically... Like, guys, look at this. Sheet mask, sheet mask, sheet mask, sheet mask, sheet mask, sheet mask. Oh, gosh. Okay, so for the sake of this video not being three hours long, I kind of just kind of organized everything, and I'll show you what I came up with. It's still not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but we're getting there. So basically here, what I've done is, in this one is just like extra palettes, and I have room to put like extra makeup. In here are extra brushes and cleaners, and I may add to this. And then here is extra. Um, this is, I don't know where I'm going to put that. Okay, so this is extra Q-tips, extra um, cotton swabs, razors. This is my um, Clarisonic charger, and then contact. And then in here is basically where I keep like, um, pull this out, my sunblocks and the lotions and yeah. 
like face sunblock that I don't use every day. Lotions, lotions, lotions. Back here is extra mask and the stuff. <laughs> nail stuff so then here is my collection of sheet masks that I'm going to try and get through and then in here I put in all of the ones that aren't sheet masks and then down here is extra like sunblocks and face sunblocks that I'm not using and like that's where I can put something like this exfoliate. I don't need to buy any kind of exfoliators anytime soon so it's looking so much better. So basically at this point, I'm starving. And we still have some stuff that we need to kind of like put together. And then I'm gonna tackle the drawers over there because there's some stuff that actually could maybe go in here. So, okay, we're getting, we're getting there. So, okay, I need to have some breakfast. So I'm taking a break. Okay, so I started working on the makeup drawer. You guys, this is the current state. So right now, I have this one, which I really like because it's fitting all of these long ones, which is I had trouble with before, and they're nice and deep, and, but you, it's, it's not organized, like in the least, and I still have all of these things that need a home. And this one didn't fit with the other, other two. It's maybe this one that maybe needs to go back. I'm not really sure. I'm going to play around. I also picked up, um, but I kind of think these two don't fit together either. So I did order something that will hold like, like blushes and stuff like that and bronzers, hopefully. I'm not really sure. That doesn't come until Tuesday, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I'm still going to kind of work with this. The things that still need a home are like tools. I do keep this plethora of primers in my um, drawer to try and use different ones in, in addition to the few that I have. Lip stuff and potted stuff. So there's still some work to be done. So i got to figure that out. Okay, so I have spent the last hour and a half or so. I did my hair. I'm gonna do my hair on Sunday nights and then dry shampoo it as much as possible for the next few days until I need to wash it. The bathroom is gonna be an ongoing project. So the underneath, which you guys saw, is looking great. I'm happy with it. I think it'll work for now. But the makeup drawer, but the makeup drawer is another story. So things are definitely in place, but it still doesn't feel organized. I'm really liking these things are fitting in but things are still cluttered so waiting for one more container to come and kind of see how that works and we may need another one so it's getting there do you guys have any ideas for good organizers for the drawer let me know there were some at Target, but it's so hard because I'm not close to a Target. So like if they don't work, like getting new ones, it's, it's a little bit rough. So might have to go to Marshall's. Um, in the food prep world, let's look. So this lighting is so funny. It looks blue. Okay, so maybe that'll help. Okay, so I have put this chicken breast. I used my toaster oven. All I did was a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. Toast it, um, cook that up, and I'm letting it just um, rest, and then I'll put that in a, these are gonna be for dinner, so I'll put that in a container. And then with the quinoa, whew, look at those dishes, like I'm gonna clean. So basically for the quinoa, I have four containers. These are gonna be lunch. Four containers. I took the quinoa and put a cup of quinoa in four of these glass containers with a half a cup of black beans that I rinsed and drained. And so those are good to go. So inside of this is gonna go tomatoes, cucumbers, avocado, lemon juice, and green onions. I actually have to go pick up green onions. So that's kind of good to go. I'll kind of show you later what that looks like and how I do it. So the last few things I have to prep are breakfast, which I'll show you in a little while. And I'm actually going to do some vegetables right now. So.
Okay, so basically what I've done is I chopped up some zucchini, carrots, and onions, about a teaspoon of olive oil, salt, pepper, Italian herbs, and some red pepper flakes. You can add whatever seasoning floats your boat. And then I'm just gonna throw these in a, I have a 375 oven going and get these nice and crispy. And these can be for dinner throughout the week. Hey everyone. So I've enjoyed a very nice lunch with a good friend of mine. And I didn't take the camera along because when you haven't seen a friend for a while, it's just nice to not worry about vlogging and just enjoy lunch. So we did that. It was really nice. We walked down to a lunch place and I got back a little bit ago and I thought I'd just show you the rest of my food prep and then yeah because I actually edited the earlier part of this um, vlog for today and it is so long so I just kind of thought I'd show you my breakfast so I eat overnight oats in the morning so basically with this is a half a cup of water a half a cup of oats and two teaspoons of chia seeds and then I'm going to put pomegranates in it. But you can use any fruit. But my tip for pomegranates is to fill this with water. Cut your pomegranate in half and then take it and do all the seeds under the water, which then doesn't allow any of the juices to make a big mess. It all stays in the bowl. And then the pithy stuff floats to the top and you just kind of take it out and then you can drain it. So it makes it a whole lot easier. My mom shared this tip with me. I think she saw it on some show. Then all I do is then drain it. Like that. And take any of the bigger white stuff out, which I don't really mind. Okay, so then the way that I finish all my oats is adding fruit. I'll kind of show you where I'm at. And you can have any kind of fruit you want. Fresh fruit. I use frozen fruit when I don't have any fresh fruit on hand. I really like pomegranates now that they're in season. And sometimes I add persimmons. I like the fuyus. And then for some added crunch and extra protein and fat, I add a small handful of almonds. It was not easy to do with one hand. And you can use almond milk instead of water. You can really, there's, you can add peanut butter. There's, you can use yogurt. There's various recipes. This is kind of one that I like that's easy. Stays pretty low in calories. So this is what it looks like. I added the pomegranates and the almonds. And then I just put them in the fridge overnight and take one out for breakfast each morning. So the last few things I'm going to share with you is just, um, I'm going to sit in front of my refrigerator. So here is the quinoa bowl. So tonight I'm going to add some cucumber, tomatoes, and then some scallions. And that's going to be basically the whole thing of it. You can add as much or as little as you want. Um, I like to add a lot because it makes it fuller and I've got a lot of those veggies in. Um, the dressing is just going to be a half of a lemon that I'll squeeze in and um, about a half of a small avocado to give you some extra fat and it's hopefully it's good. I'll let you know tomorrow. But that's it you guys. I want to sign off. Um, you can, I'll show you what I do for dinner with some of the stuff I meal prepped um, tomorrow but this vlog was getting really really long and so basically I'm just going to finish up the overnight oats, get them in here get one of these salads ready for tomorrow and then that's it so um yeah i hope you had a wonderful day and i'll talk to you in my next vlog bye we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a